Uh, Dean, another three points on the board. What would you make of it? Yeah, look, listen, tricky. Um, they made it difficult. They sat in. Um, we had so many chances. Um, we cleared penalties that weren't given. And uh, right on half time, they sort of caught us on the break once, and we managed to go to the other end and score, which was a great goal by Gat. So, look, it's been a fantastic weekend for us. It was important we picked up four points from the weekend over East, and we managed to do it. That was our target. In the games coming towards the end of the season, for you, is it more important to keep focus really on one game at a time, or is it good to have an eye on the playoffs to give us a bit of an additional motivation? I think our points target will achieve us getting second. Um, we're in pole position to do that, um, and we've got to be confident we can do that as well, which is very important. But we, we do take it one game at a time, you know, we respect the opposition. We managed to rotate today, which was important. Um, but the key to anything in life, you can only go one day at a time, and especially in this business, a week's a long time, in it? When you bring players back in like Danny, Danny Collins, Del Gorman, Nicky Kabamba, how much does that help not only the quality of the squad but also how you, you want to play football? They're just key players for us. They're huge players. They're senior players. Gorman's our club captain. Danny could be club captain. Nicky could be club captain. That's how big they are. They're good, great personalities in the changing room. And you see there today, obviously, Gormo, leader. Danny makes us so much stronger and more athletic defensively. And obviously, Nicky getting another goal again. His goal the other day, I thought, against Solihull. What a goal that was. When I watched the back, I, I thought it was Didier Drogba. So I've been calling them Drogba the last couple of days. So, all in all, they're just big players for us. They're big players for, for our team, the team we've created. And uh, the, the, the more they're available to play, the better for the team. And in that second half, when you bring on Zach Brunch, Jerome Makimo, and Maguire Drew, how important is it to have that depth off the bench? And also, what was the thinking behind those subs? What did you want changed? We changed system. Um, we brought a skip on, went three centre backs, we went from 4 3 3. And then we changed into a, a, a tree, basically. 3-5-1 or 3-6-1, whatever you want to call it, with a box in midfield. I thought, I thought uh, Brunt come on was outstanding, gave us a real touch of class, lots of quality in his play. Um, and we just got hold of the game, because they, they changed their system. They went and changed their system and, and took the striker obviously was forced off Parker and they, man, they brought on Arthur Potter who was more of a midfield player, more of a 10. So they were hurting us, they were getting a, a lot of second balls, they were sort of hurting us with the second balls they were getting. So for us to change system we had to deal with that, it's very strong, so, 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 so uh, tactically adaptable the players are. And then with Oxford already having been relegated before the game today, did that add a bit of uncertainty as to how they were going to play? And also, is that testament to you and your players as to how you could deal with that? Yeah, our mentality was excellent. Our focus was excellent. Um, always difficult. They get to play with freedom. There's no pressure on them. It's obviously done for them now. So they come here, they play with a little bit more freedom. They did play very defensive. They got a lot of bodies behind the ball. We needed to play forward better, a bit more quality from wide areas, better crosses, make them defend. There's a reason at the bottom of the table because they don't defend well enough. That's, and that's no disrespect to them. I know it's difficult for them. I know they've got the lowest budget in the division. Um, I understand that's difficult for us, but defensively, we just wanted to make them defend at every moment, defend our box as much as they could. And the more times we did that with quality, obviously the outcome's stronger for us. We'd have more chances. And then finally, just looking ahead to that Maidenhead game on Saturday, how are you feeling? Yeah, look, listen, the lads have a well earned break. We were in all over the Easter weekend, you know, where everyone was holiday, holiday and partying. And, Enjoying family time, we went. We were in training the last two days. Um, obviously, we played uh, uh, on Friday. Played today, so the lads get well earned break. Injured lads are in tomorrow. Um, they got some work to do. So Idris is going to train tomorrow with an update on the injuries. Idris will train tomorrow. Pritchard will train tomorrow. Winter will train tomorrow. So if they get through that training session tomorrow, they'll come back in with the group on Thursday. And uh, well earned break for whoever can enjoy it. What I would like to say though, which is important <coughs> about the officiating, and I know I don't want to overstep the mark. Um, but we had two of the clearest penalties I've ever seen in my life. And off the back of that, Hartigan's been booked for descent. Gorman's booked for descent. Um, and assistant manager Connor Smith's booked for descent. But the, the standard there is nowhere near good enough. Um, that must be much, much better. Um, I know it's a difficult job being, being an official referee, but when they're that blunt, blatant handball and a trip in the box on college, um, the standard of it needs to be higher, I have to be honest with you. Dean, thanks for your time.